Creative Tart Nights and welcome, thank you for joining me live this evening. Um, now it is quarter past six in the evening for me in the UK. Um, I did kind of suggest to my Creative Tart Nights in my Creative Tart Night Tribe group that I would be trying to go live possibly around about seven o'clock. Um, but um, I'll be honest with you, I um, happened to notice that um, one of my uh, art friends had already scheduled to go live at the same time. And I really don't want to be that um, friend who tries to compete with her friends. Uh, and so I thought um, it would probably be much better, seeing as how my package came anyway. Um, and that was the reason I wasn't going live sooner was I was waiting on a package and I didn't want the door to be going whilst I was going live and I would end up having to run to the <coughs> door, excuse me. So with that said, um, I have decided to go live now. Um, there may be uh, some people are not going to know that um, I've already gone live, um, but uh, hopefully um, people will be able to come and hang out. Now, I've just noticed that um, we have Madonna. Hi, Madonna, and Laura, and Gail, and Rachel. Hi, um, Rachel, for anybody who doesn't know, is actually my daughter. Um, so if it seems like I'm being extra cheeky to Rachel, it's because um, she's extra cheeky to me. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Rachel. <laughs> so I hope you all can forgive me. I know that Michael Ann had said that she wanted to, to come in and not be late. So um, I'm asking for forgiveness um, of Michael Ann. Um, I'm really sorry. I just do not want to be the friend that competes with her friends. So hello, Kathy. Hello. And hi, Beth. Hello, hello, hello. So um, I asked in group um, what people thought um, intuitive uh, creativity was. Um, and um, then I started thinking uh, about going live. And then I remembered that on one of my lives, I'd shown you this page here, um, which is in my um, art journal. And this essentially was just me using up paint. I had, um, th there's different paint projects um, that I've had paint left over from and I've just literally just scraped it into this uh, journal. And as you can see, um, there's some really kind of muddy colors going on here where they have kind of mixed as I've scraped them on. Um, Yes, Rachel, and now you know what it's what the question was and what it means. Um, Google gave me no help with that word. <laughs> well, perhaps it might be worth um, just kind of talking a little bit about that just now then before we get started, um, or not necessarily before we get started, but as we get started, because what I'm going to do is I am going to um, set the camera down um, and uh, I will pop out the paints uh, while I talk about um, intuitive uh, painting. So let me just, um, for those of you who um, don't like it, close your eyes. Um, I'm literally just, oh, that's a bit too far. That's where the mess is. <laughs> so um, there we go. Just pop that wire out of the way. I'm going to use a couple of clips, I think, um, just to keep this page down. Um, and I'm also thinking that I may just pop that on there because we're going to ignore this side. I've decided that this is going to be two pages. Um, so I'm going to, we'll ignore this side and we'll just concentrate on this side. Oh, hello, Chrissy. Hello. Um, Chrissy is the friend that I don't want to compete with. So um, just uh, to uh, catch it, get you up to speed, Chrissy, I was going to go live at seven o'clock um, purely because I couldn't go live earlier. I'm working tomorrow night. 
Um, I, and um, earlier on, I was waiting on a package. However, um, the package arrived and then I noticed, because uh, what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to go live and then end up having to answer the door. So I noticed that the package had arrived um, and uh, I then was kind of sort of having a look on uh, social media as I do. And I noticed that, Chrissy, that you were going live at seven o'clock. And I do not want to be that art friend that tries to compete with my art friend. So um, I d decided that um, I would uh, go live now. Um, I had hoped to have gone live a little bit earlier in the day, but my package hadn't arrived and there is no way I was going to um, go live uh, and uh, have to go and run and answer the door and leave you guys all hanging. So um, that's you up to speed now. <laughs> um, right. Intuitive um, painting. It's really about um, just using your intuition and just um, trying not to give it um, any particular thought. Now, um, I'm going to be pretty much painting intuitively today in my art journal um, when I'm covering or, or at least making something of the mess that is here. Um, there's loads of different ways that I can do it. Um, I'm just popping out some paint. Now, you've probably noticed that these are actually all my cheaper paints. This is Hobbycraft um, acrylic paint. This is uh, Galleria. So these are all kind of student grade paints. Um, I decide, I mean, I, I don't mind using uh, Golden uh, in my art journal, but I decided um, that I actually quite like some of these colors. Uh, I've got Cerulean Blue. This is a, a very light green. Um, this is, it's a red, but it's, it's not the same kind of, Uh, tone, uh, hue, whatever you want to say as the other reds that I've got. Um, I've got some phthalo turquoise. Um, again, it's Dalarani System 3. Um, it's not as heavy bodied. Um, and I haven't even decided what colours I'm going to be um, using. This is the um, the cad red hue. Um, now this paint is so old that it's actually got little, it's kind of lumpy, um, but it's just going to my art journal. And so I'm just messing about. Um, um, Rachel says, I do need to start journaling. Yes, you do. Um, and you're very welcome, Chrissy. You're very welcome. Um, so have I missed saying hello to anybody? No, I haven't. Everybody's everybody's had a shout out. So fantastic. Right. Um, so uh, one last thing that I need, and this I don't have in it's here. I don't have this in cheap, um, is my titanium white. Although I might have mixing white um, in student grade, uh, but I don't have titanium white and I may or may not, sorry, I may or may not need to use it. So I'm going to try and not shout. Um, it's not, I, I say shout. I'm going to try and not project my voice too much because I can get quite loud. Uh, so I've just realised that I uh, was projecting my voice a little bit there. Um, it probably comes from one having a deaf granddad. Um, although, rest, God rest his soul, he's um, no longer with us. Um, but yeah, my granddad was deaf. Uh, so um, I did to have a tendency to project my voice to be heard. Um, and also being in the theatre and projecting my voice when on stage and giving my lines. Um, so there you go. Um, just picking, finding my brushes. Uh, oh, here we are. So I've got my cat's tongue. Um, 
Yeah, I think I'll use my cat's tongue. And uh, I'm going to get my water, and I do hope that I manage to get this done before seven o'clock. Um, I don't see any reason why not, because this is a, a really um, quick and simple technique. So essentially, um, the key to dealing with something like this is value, okay? Um, this is very, very dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some negative painting with a very light tone. Um, and so that then um, brings out the, uh, you can then see the dark here. So I'm kind of, um, I had in my head more of a light green blue. Um, so I've just taken a little bit of the phthalo turquoise actually, because I quite like that. And a little bit of the light green And we'll see, if we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, so you've probably seen me, in fact, if you'll have seen any of my ATC um, videos, if you saw the one where I was just messing around, I had like more than one, um, more than one ATC and I just, just threw the paint down. You'll see that I did um, a vase of flowers um, or a vase of flowers, depending on what, how you pronounce it. Um, and that's essentially what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to turn this into a vase of flowers. I'm already seeing the edge of the flowers here, or the, the vase anyway. Um, so I'm going to mix up a little bit more paint. and just do some negative painting. And it's as simple as that. I'm thinking that um, maybe I can vary it a little bit um, up here. And then just, I might actually change to a bigger brush. That's probably better. I'm going to change to the bigger, um, it's a size eight uh, cat's tongue because it is just a smidgen. And I think I might just alter the, the blue up the top slightly just to give it a little bit more interest. I'm just adding in a little bit of the, the cerulean blue up the top here. And then I'll probably do it a little bit darker down here and probably up a little bit um, for the table. I'm thinking that perhaps maybe I've made my vase a little bit cool and I'm just chucking, <laughs> I'm chucking water everywhere. I've just caught my, um, my brush uh, and knocked the water, but don't worry about it. It's all fine. It's all good. Right. So I'm thinking that um, I've actually made my vase just a little bit too thick. 
thin and it probably wouldn't probably wouldn't take the um, the flowers so I'm just going to just widen that up a little bit as you can see I'm not paying too much heat to anything in particular I've actually lightened that up a lot a lot. Um, I might just go back in and darken it. So I'm making it a bit of a bizarre looking. Of wider at the bottom vase or vase depending on what so there we go that's it starting to kind of take shape starting to look more like a vase with um, something going on at the top there so I'm thinking I'm taking some of the um, cadmium red and I'm just going to add a little bit of colour. like so. We're just giving the impression of flowers at the moment. Um, in fact, let me just take this big one. So, um, any questions? Any thoughts on um, intuitive thought? I actually had somebody um, argue with me that there was no such thing as intuitive thought um, and their argument was around about what the actual meaning of the word was um, so I just kind of sort of put back to them well actually you know we as human beings are the ones that actually um, you know we're the ones that actually come up with uh, and um, make the word so what is um what is wrong with believing an in intuitive thought when you look at it that way i'm just putting a little bit more interest by lightening this up. I'm not really being particularly neat about it and that's okay. And you know, I'm missing a color that I think would possibly um, do really well in here. Uh, and let me see if I can, let me see if I can find it. I found some uh, magenta, again, cheap paint. That's not what I was looking for. Uh -huh, here we go. Um, this is cadmium yellow here. Um, so let's see. It. Oh, right. Sorry, guys. Tip for you. If you can't get your lid off, use something like a cloth to be able to get a hold of it. Um, sometimes it's really just about getting a little bit more purchase um, because otherwise it's just going to hurt your hand. Um, so there we go. There is some yellow. Let 
And I'm just going to just just going to dab some yellow in. Again, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Um, I think I might actually make up some green using that turquoise. And there's a little bit of yellow in. And I might actually start thinking about some leaf areas or leaf areas, leaves. There might be a leaf coming out there. And there might actually be a whole leaf coming there. I'm not being particularly, but you know the you know the leaves I mean, you know those big leaves that you you sometimes see. So that's, that's that. And then I will just simply grab some more red, maybe even some of this red, and just pop in the flowers at the front. So it actually looks like they're at the front. So I'll grab some yellow. Now, of course, I've not cleaned out my brush well enough, so the yellow has gone a kind of strange colour. But that's okay. I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. So you can see how it's starting to, to shape up. So just pop in a more of a shadow. Um, might even just fill that space up just a little bit more and then shove in. The shadow like so. So I know this is upside down, guys. Um, so, shall I, um, right. No, we haven't had any snow just uh, today. We did have some the other day, uh, Chrissy, but it didn't stay for very long. So that's it. Start. That's how it's starting to look, and you can just mess about with it. Just keep messing about with it until you have. Um, Kathy says it looks like a feather. Well, do you know, it could be a feather if you want it to be a feather. You know, um, there is absolutely nothing uh, wrong with uh, doing that. Now, one of the other things that you can do um, is. You can use the end of your brush and just grab some white paint. And you know those, um, I have no idea what it's called. But it is usually found in vases of flowers.
No, that didn't work. Um, I was going to to just put in some really some more green. Um, Foliage is the word I was looking for. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I couldn't think what the word was. Um, right. Uh, so we've kind of gone with the blue. And, you know, sometimes you will find reflection of the, the other colours. In the vase. So I'm just... No idea why I did that. It was just paint that happened to be on my brush. And I will probably add the blue in again. And there might be just a little bit So there we go. And it's really just, you just mess about with it. If you want to leave it at that, leave it at that. Um, okay, Chrissy, no problem. Uh, I will definitely be finished uh, before you start at seven. So then we can all hop over to Chrissy's uh, channel. Um, oh, that's okay, Gail. I do hope that you're okay and that you're only going for a routine appointment, Gail. So take care. Um, and you just keep adding um, colours just however you want to add them. Yellow is a very, very um, transparent colour, so I like to add a little bit of Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Titanium. Titanium white. And as I say, just, just keep adding to what you want to add to. until you get to where you want it to be. If that means cutting back into where you've painted, then that's what you do. If you need it to be, that's where the light's coming from, this side's going to be darker. And then down here is going to be darker still. Uh, 
and I will probably, if the light's coming from this side, um, I will probably actually put that just a little bit lighter. Maybe just a little bit more. green like so and I will do the shadow at the other side There you go. That's a little bit better. Oh, hello, Stephanie. Hello, welcome. Oh, hello, Mona. Hiya. I'm really, 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 really sorry that I have a live earlier than I had planned. So that is essentially how you make a mess into something that you're proud of. It is that simple. It can be that quick. I'm really genuinely not thinking too much about this. Look, I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to do it upside down. Really doesn't matter. And even if some of the colour shows through, it actually just adds to the interest. So, thank you. Yes, please do remember to hit the like button. It's very much appreciated. Um, the reason I'm going live today is because I'm actually working tomorrow and I'm working a back shift. So for those who don't know what a back shift is, that means I am working from half past um, half past one until half past nine at night. So by the time I get home, I will be in no state to be able to go live, unfortunately. I will need to go to my bed. I think I'll add some white in amongst the flowers as well, because sometimes you get the, I don't know what it's called, but if, most bunches of flowers have it. Maybe somebody knows what it is. Rachel says, I won't be up that late. No, neither will I. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'm not going live. There will be no live on Friday. Baby's breath. It could, I, I, it might, be that, that's probably, yes, that's exactly what it is. But is there not a, a more technical um, name for it? Is it just baby's breath, is it? That's such a pretty name too. Um, So 
I'm just going to Just messing about now. Just experimenting and hoping it doesn't go horribly wrong. <laughs> Any questions? Because I've darkened this side up, I'm just darkening this up as well. because this will be this will be the dark side because the light as i said earlier seemed to be shining from here because these flowers seem to be um getting the the light so I'm just lightening things up. There we go. So there's a little bit of a reflection. So there's a little bit of green from here. Um, there's some sad. It's somebody's sad. Hang on. Um, I'm sad. I missed the whole live. But um, I. Do you know, Mona, I am so I actually should be asking for your forgiveness um, for going live that little bit sooner. Um, and I think I think I'm going to call that done. I think I'm happy with that. There's a lot more that I could do. Um, so, for example, I could actually. Um, I could kind of put some highlights onto the leaf, so giving the leaf a bit more depth. Um, maybe adding a bit of yellow just to to mix up the colour a little bit. Um, I think there's a, that's definitely a leaf coming out and round there. So let's just try and make it look a bit more Like a leaf. Um, there you go. So there you go. Yeah, Kylie, I am so, so, so sorry. Um, I, I had planned on going at seven. Um, however, I noticed um, that uh, a friend of mine was going live and had already scheduled to go live at that time. And I did not want to be the friend that was competing and trying to get um, their viewers to watch me and not them. 
Uh, so it seemed only fair because I normally go live on a Friday. I'm only going live today because I'm working tomorrow. Um, so it didn't seem very fair. And, you know, at the end of the day, there's room enough for us all, isn't there? Um, so let's uh, all support each other. So that is essentially it. That's how to turn this kind of page into something that you can be proud of. Oh, that's okay, Kylie. Um, it, I really appreciate that you did try to, to come in and see me live. I am so sorry that I went sooner. Um, so I'm, I've got a lot of um, apologising to, to, to a lot of people because I did say that I was going to go at seven or try to go at seven o'clock. Um, Kathy says, now you're being fussy. It is beautiful. Yes, you're right, Kathy. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, Stephanie, um, that's exactly the, the technical name. Um, gypsophilia. Um, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, you're, it, you know, baby's breath is much easier to say, isn't it? So I've got some baby's breath in there. Even if I, the other things might not look like flowers, that definitely looks like baby's breath. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But it's, an, it's an impression. It's not meant to be realistic anyway. So um, um, anywho, that's essentially it. Um, I'll just pop this back up. Ooh. There we go. So, oh. ta -da. It'll stop moving in a second. Um, thank you. This um, has been a, a very short, it's not like me, um, but yeah, very short. Um, so I don't know if that makes it a bit easier to see. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with that. Um, I could have maybe have chosen a, a little bit different colour of uh, vase uh to the to the table um i could have perhaps um done something different with the table uh but you know i'm i'm happy with that i'm just going to let it be what it is uh because it's in my art journal and um let's face it if there's anything that um i've learned and that is that um when we experiment that's when we learn so that is essentially it um uh thorny says uh well now i can go use my coupons and get more something uh pink colors maybe <laughs> any excuse to buy art supplies eh thorny <laughs> you're very welcome uh, madonna um, as I said, in one of the lives, um, I did ask you guys if you wanted me to show you how to turn this kind of mess into something that you're proud of. Well, that's that's been done today. And um, another time I will uh, tackle the other side doing something completely different. So I think... Um, Chrissy is about to go live, so I will say thank you. You are all creative tartanites. Um, I am excited about tomorrow because it is the 1st of February, which means there's two things happening. First of all, there is 29 Faces, which Ayala Art um, hosts. Um, awesome thing to, to join in. Um, as you know, I love portraits, so I love the 29 Faces, but equally, Equally and more exciting is that it's the first day of February, which means it's the new Creative Tartanite Challenge. So if you're not already a member of the Tartanite um, tribe, then um, please go and check out the um, Creative Tartanite tribe on Facebook uh, and uh, ask to, to join. And um, you can uh, join in the fun of the Creative Tartanite tribe monthly challenge. Oh, and I can breathe now. So 
Take care, everybody. And no doubt I will see you all over on Chrissy's channel and we can all have a, a chat and we can um, give much love to Chrissy. Um, uh, and uh, who knows? Who knows what we're going to be talking about this time? The last time, I believe, we were all talking about um, movies and our favourite movies and things and what a giggle we had. So um, thank you. Let's all go and give Chrissy some love. So take care, everybody. Bye for now. Love you lots.